Hey guys, how's it going? It's LVA Nerd again today, and we're back with some more Metal Gear. I'm, I'm really liking this strat of just, hey, we're gonna just mo motor through the fucking campaign. Because, like, it's just, it's good. Like, I like it. And we're on Hellhound now, so. And another thing that I was gonna say, too, is, um, when you get quiet, you're not gonna be able to use her first off. She has to gain the trust, and then, you know, you do the side quest and do the whatever. Then you have to wait, and then there's going to be a cutscene saying, Hey, you can use Quiet, so then you can do it. And, uh, yeah, like, she's, she's a real cool character. Like, I like her. I, I like her whole thing. She even gets some pretty weird outfits, too. There's one that I do want that I don't know how to get that I'm probably gonna look up later. But yeah, pretty much like that's it. Like, you know, you gotta you gotta wait for some cutscenes and more dialogue comes where like uh, Miller and them talk and they're like, hey, the uh, like bosses like we we can use her to our advantage. Like instead of just letting her sit there in the cell and do nothing. And also there's parts where it shows, like, quiet, like, lashing out at other, like, crew members. Uh, that, like, you know, she, she attacks one guy and, like, almost, like, chips out his tooth. Or, like, yeah, he chips out his front two teeth with a knife. And, uh, to me, I think that was, or the, the reason why is because she probably, like, knew the people and, you know, it's kind of how it is. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, did I pick the right one? Ah, uh, here, I'm just gonna skip this, because I don't know if I honestly picked the right one. I think I did. I think I did. Yeah, I think I picked the right one. So does it just skip me through that? The map has been updated. Don't doubt about it, boss. Uh, let's turn to ATC. Cause I don't know if that's the right one. I don't know. Really don't know. Cause I remember doing a mission. May may wait wait wait. Maybe that was a side mission. Oh, sorry if I wasted your guys' time. Fuck. Sh I... Oh, man. Okay. Let me check. Please select a mission. Nope. Cloaked in Silence Hellhound. Okay, so that was it. It's just... I remember start... No. Oh, okay. Wait. No, no, no. It, it was a side mission. It was a side mission to go over there. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Fuck. Here, we'll... We'll start her back up. Good enough. There we go. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna let you guys watch through this. I'm gonna get myself a drink, and uh, since, you know, I can hear it with this, you know, at least I'm gonna know where and when we're gonna be starting. So, I'll be back in just a second. Postural control to accommodate a human pilot. 
I share your urgency, but we need more time to finish it. So here's the biggest traitor in Metal Gear Solid. Dr. Emmerich. Planning on leaving us, or doctor? Huh? better known as um, Hal's father. Uh, or grandfather, I should say. And how you know that's his granddaddy? He pisses so his you're pants. Just gonna kill me? So Holanthropus is mine now. Listen, I may dwell in the dark. But I refuse to be judged by your standards, traitor! I hope your friends give you what's coming to you. Take him to the base! Oh, Walker Gears yes, looks so stupid. <laughs> Still have use for it. Pretty much what they're trying to make is a giant metal gear. And, uh, that looks, that looks a lot like Ray. Oh, not Ray, Rex. There we go. <coughs> so, yeah, now we have to save, uh, Huey, because we need to figure out, like, how they blew up the base, and how they did everything, and it goes into a lot of shit about Peace Walker, and it just, it goes a lot of places. No doubt about it, boss. That man is your extraction target, Emmerich. The weapon system that disappeared into that cave, and the man who was with it. Emmerich must know something about what's going on. He was transferred to the Soviet's base camp. <coughs> I've marked it on the map. Make your way to that base camp. Analysis complete. Sorry, I got a little hungry after the first couple episodes. I was like, hey man, why not? Let's get me a crunchy bar and shit. So I got myself a crunchy bar and I ate it. So it's pretty good. I always thought this thing was the weirdest fucking thing ever, where he's just like, boom, let me pull this out, let me just copy everything on it. And I like how the paper actually starts, like, what do you call it, like, not not burning, but smoking because of it. Intel. That's fine. Analyzing the intel file you picked up. We've got a fix on the target. I've updated your map info. Check it on your iDroid. So we're gonna take this guy since he was good. And now we're gonna actually have to hit the shit. Analysis 
So yeah, we're gonna have to stealth through this. We're just gonna be extracting a lot of these people. Also, um, I did this mission at night. I've never done it in the, in the day, so I wanted to try doing it in the day. See, it should be a little different, but it's not. It's all the fucking same. I don't mind it, though. Also, too, look around here, because there probably is a blueprint. I don't know the exact location, because it's been, like, almost a year, but there's a blueprint around here, so look around. The only reason why I'm running through this is because, you know, it's just... Easy to run through this. Schwerda. I think that's what he said. I think he said Schwerda. I don't know. I'm gonna say he said Schwerda. Here we go. Or Schwerda. Schwerda. Sure, that word. Let's go with that. Also, too, if you don't want to be caught. Stick to the like not barbed wired areas, but you know what I mean, like the, the, the different areas. Can't believe I missed every fucking shot. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah, just go through here and you'll be fine. Also, if you want to know how to get this outfit, you have to buy it, so... There are other outfits in this game that are pretty much like the one that I have, except this one just gives me better health regeneration. And noiseless stuff. That really comes in handy. So two, noiseless step I think only counts when you're actually just like walking or, or crouch walking. I think that's what it is because if you're if you're walking, they can see you. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. I forgot. Oh god, I forgot about those. Ah, I fucking spray my necks a little bit. Fuck. I completely forgot about those. Just one after another. Just boom, boom, boom. Whoopsie daisies. That giant weapon system that disappeared into the cave? Detective. I've, uh, heard it was the Kremlin's biggest secret. But to think that doctor has been working on it. And the man with the skull for a face. It's been on my mind since you encountered the skulls during the Honeybee mission. It's really him. Boss, he's the commander of Cypher Strike Force XOF. And probably the mastermind of the attack nine years ago. I thought he and Zero parted ways. I'll look into it. You just focus on the And mission. pretty much if you don't know who's Zero and, like, Skullface. Uh, for me, I still don't know what or who and what Skullface is, because I haven't, like I said, beat this game yet. But, uh, who Zero is, is an American... Or, no, wait, no, he, he's a... He's a guy that worked for the CIA, more or less, and, um, or, or some type of, like, special bureau. He worked for Fox, like, FOX, Foxhound, like, the, the, the Fox group in general. He was the founder of it, he did all of that, and, um, 
big boss and him had had a clash together and they both went their separate ways. Uh, Zero kept working on on Fox and all that other stuff. And sorry, he wasn't American, he's a British guy. Um, and then Big Boss decided to go to, I think, like, it wasn't Guatemala, but it was another place. Um, like, over in the, like, uh, Caribbean. And he went there, and then he made, um, he, he did what, what he did here. Started working with all these people, and then made, like, the, like, pretty much Soldiers of Fortune, pretty much. Analysis complete. And uh, I forget what their names were because it's been a while since I played uh, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops or the other one. And yeah, pretty much... Oh, Jesus, you see me? Beautiful headshot. Sorry about that. But, um... Yeah, no, he, uh... He made these... The, this uh, whole clue, like, crew and then it pretty much turned into what Mother Base is now. And, um, the people that he had there, like, it, it was cool. it was a really cool game, because, um, pretty, pretty much, like, it had art, like, it had, like, comic book-styled scenes instead of, like, live action, because it was on the PlayStation Portable, and it was really cool to see, like, I really liked it. And, uh... Yeah, Big Boss looked a lot more different. He had like a beard and or like a bigger beard and everything. Like in, in the comics, like he looked very like un unkept. More unkept than how he does on here. <laughs> and uh Yeah, it was just it was a really good game. And then pretty much what happens at the end of that, to spoil that, because it leads into this, um his group goes down the shitter. One of the people that were in there named, uh, not Fortune, named, uh, fuck, what's her, fuck, what's her face? Uh, I, I can't remember her fucking name, but she has blonde hair and you see her in this game. She fucks you over. Um, Chico, the kid, he, he fucking, he fucking throws you to the goddamn dogs. Everybody fucking throws you to the goddamn dogs. That's that's how it honestly became. So, it, it was it was a bad scene for Snake altogether. And still, Zero wanted Snake back because you know he he still wanted Snake. Snake was his best friend. Like they were, they, it was like what happens when a bunch of friends or like. Let's say you and a buddy, you, you get you don't get along, and something like life changing happens. Like let's say he he fucks your bitch, or he he like fucks you over really really bad, and you and like you, you divide, and you don't like hang out anymore, you, you don't talk, you don't do nothing. Like you, you, you avoid that motherfucker like the plague, and that's pretty much what happened. Because I'm guessing he was, uh, like, I forgot what what he did wrong, but Zero did, like, a lot wrong. Like, he wasn't doing things right, and Snake didn't agree with what he was doing, so he didn't want to fight with him. Or for him, I mean. Because pretty much it- oh, shit. Because pretty much it's like, why fight for something, honestly, if you don't want to... Like, if you don't want to fight for it. And you don't agree for what you're fighting for, because that, that's what, why Snake went to that different country. And it wasn't even like a country, like he went to like a different part of the world. And was like, yeah, I'm gonna fight here. 
you know, fight for something I actually believe in. I'm not gonna fight this proxy war. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna fight for what I believe in. He's coming too. And this shit's gonna Watch be pretty that. hard. Like, I'm probably gonna have to, to get me a fucking... What do you call it? I'm gonna have to get me, uh... Ah, fuck me. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to get a, uh... Gonna get, have to get some stuff. So... Some ammo and shit. I can't believe I didn't hit that guy. Perfect, there we go. Was he an S rank? Oh, he's an S rank. Oh, baby, look at that. Look at that. And also, my buddies are contacting me, so I'm probably gonna end this episode. Not not now, but I'm gonna finish it and I'm gonna go talk to them because I've been recording like all day. But yeah, no, this game's fucking great. Like, I love Metal Gear, and uh, like, but anyways, about the Zero and Snake thing. Um, Supply drop complete. They think Zero has has something to do with Cipher, and they they thought that like Skullface wasn't working for Zero anymore. But Tom will tell who's working for who and what's working for what. Extraction arrived at mother base. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna text them real quick, because honestly, they like to get ballistic when they don't fucking get something back. So, I'll just let that load, and then I'll uh, fucking send them a text after. But the, because last time I didn't text one of them back, it was like the fucking world ended. It was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing, man? Like, you're not do like, you're not inviting us, you're not doing whatever, and I'm just like, sorry, man, like... I was recording, and then it was like, oh no, man, it's all good. It was like, well, then why fucking flip out on me like that? Come on. Analysis complete. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. At least my health recovery is really nice, so, like, eating a fucking claymore shot to the fucking leg is just like, eh, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll walk it off. That's what I like about this armor. I fucking, I walk shit off like crazy. I walk shit off, honestly, I shouldn't be walking off. I see you. Also, one thing I can say here, we're gonna, gonna make a mad dash. Now we're gonna stealth a little bit. I see you, I see you, it's fine. It's fine buddy, I see you, I see you, don't worry about it. So right over here, this is where you can find a blueprint. That's one that I remember, because I failed this mission so many times, where legit, I had to cut this mission out, and then, like, cut out all my failed attempts, and it was just, it was super shitty. Like, I just, I couldn't get it, like, right. Because, you, you can't non-lethally take out a helicopter anymore, and that's what disappoints me. Like, in the Portable Ops game, or whatever that one was called, um, you could, t like, the, the, the crazy, like, here, let me just pause that for a minute. The craziest shit that you could do, you could, like, shoot, like, a plane down with a rocket and it float back up into the sky because you have a flute and launcher on it. Like, they had so many crazy guns on there that I'm kind of disappointed didn't come back through this game, but that game was, like, a little bit more arcadey and kind of more, like, funny. 
So it was like I was kind of disappointed not seeing like the Fluten anti-tank gun or like the Fluten thing. But okay. So it's probably in one of these places. Like I'm just gonna turn on my night vision goggles. It's right around here. Like, I think it's on this shelf. There we go. I actually didn't have it. I actually didn't have it. Well, I'm pretty happy about that. Happy I came back and got it. You know what? It's because I fucking died. I remember I fucking died and I forgot the blueprint was here. And I didn't, I didn't like, leave with the blueprint. Oh my god, okay, well, you know what? I'm happy I checked. Let's see. Sorry, I'll just do this real quick. I should at least play some GTA with them or something. <laughs> cause, uh, yeah, cause I haven't played GTA with them in a while. I honestly keep my ass up too, cause my hours have been just, hey, I'm gonna work and fucking do my shit. And then, like, you know, hit the, hit the hay like around like five, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. Cause I'm usually like up pretty early in the morning and I go to go to bed pretty fucking early. Also, here is a thing. So if you want to lure in enemies, you can grab that right there. And there are some on Mother Base too. Analysis complete. Where you can look that up yourself, or I can link it in the description. Okay, go to sleep, my friend. Go to sleep, go to sleep. I'm actually doing surprisingly good stealthing through this. Ooh, sandstorm. Good. Roger that. I might just let him go. Because that would be stupid. And also, you, people are probably not going to understand what this fucking thing is that we're going to see in just three, two, one. Nobody's going to understand what that is unless they played the fucking Portable Ops game. So, 
pretty much what that is, is a part of a Metal Gear. And that Metal Gear was a part, or a part of the thing that's the final boss of the end of, uh, at, at the end of Portable Ops. And it has the voice of none other than the Big Boss. So. Oh yeah, and no, the game was called Peace Walker, not Portable Ops. Sorry, it's all kind of the fucking same to me. <laughs> I've played so many Metal Gears, like, it's, it's ridiculous. Dr. Emmerich. Snake? Hey, what gives? Ah, let me go! No! Give me back my legs! Right on schedule. Now bring him back to Mother Base. Yeah, so pretty much what this is also to you, there are some really nice pictures and everything of, uh, of, this, of this game. Like, there's strange love, and then, there, and then there's, like, all this stuff. There, there's Snake and everybody, and, you know, look at that. And now we're gonna take this, because this, ma this makes this a lot easier. Why don't you use that walker gear of his? No way. We can't trust him. How do we know his crap will even work? Well, it's better than carrying them in. Makes this a lot easier. And also, too, um... I'll start it up. Get this off me! Then he's, uh... And yeah, that what that thing is, it was supposed to be the embodiment of the original boss. Like, what was supposed to be, because since Big Boss killed her at the end of number three, because he was forced to, um, uh, Strange Love also loved the, the boss and made a robot of that person. So that's what that is. <laughs> And it's ridiculous hearing it, because, like, it, like that, that's why it's so funny, because it's like, hey, no. I was developing a <laughs> like, I love this person, and, and also, too, the, the boss was a lesbian. Like, the, the love between Snake and her was, like, a master and apprentice love. It wasn't, um, you know... I'm gonna just do stuff. Strange Love and her actually had a legit, like, love interest. Where, like, they were together. And yeah, that's pretty much like that. And um, I think I think Strange Love got with Emmerich too. Like everybody gets with everybody with this game. Like it's it's a, it's a little ridiculous. Like everybody gets with everyone. There we go, I, I want this fucking thing. So now, another big cutscene where, hey, crazy shit's gonna happen, so hold your fucking pants right now because shit's gonna go down. <laughs> That's pretty much just. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, okay, yeah, and there. Then it shows the kid. Yeah, you can, you can get that out of there. I don't give a fuck. That's what I'm here for, right there. So that's the Metal Gear he built for the Soviets. Impossible! It can't be active! Doctor! You're as useless as.
as I thought. This is the real Sahalanthropus. You and your friend will die here. Behold! Today is the day weapons learn to walk upright! This is what I was talking about. And it looks amazing. I love what they did with this robot. Also, T you can't fight it, obviously. So, pretty much what we're supposed to do is get the fuck out. I actually gotta focus for this part because I haven't like done this part in a while and I really don't want to fail. Drop Kiwi, and the strategy that I used for this was do this. Wait for the helicopters to, or the helicopter to actually like drop and come in. And we're gonna like glitch him inside my box so they can't see. I love that. Hello. Oh, that's fucking stupid. An upright bipedal weapon. In terms of hominids, it's a Sahelanthropus. How did they complete it without me? We'll hear the rest back at So base. pretty much, that is the great granddaddy of all the Metal Gears on here. And I love this part. It's just like, nah, man. No looking for you, fucking traitor. You know how rich Big Boss is? I'm allowed to have all my weapons in gold. Encrusted in gold. Oh man. But yeah, no, that was great. And I think there is a little bit more left, so I'm gonna finish this. And yeah, look at that, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, level that shit up. Level it up. Oh man, there we go. 
And I got a B rank. I'm gonna fuck. Wait, why? Wait, balance of pay. Oh, okay, whatever. That's fine. There we go. Okay, another cutscene. Before we end it. Why do you suspect me? What did I do? I'm on your side! What about him? was in contact with Cypher nine years ago. He was working with them. He's the traitor, Snake! What's that? More truth serum? No. Strong. Stronger so, truth please, serum. I love that. Please keep me here. I need protection. Ah! Ah! You're the odd one out. Why me? We all lost something. What? Except you. Aw, oh, this part's fucked up. Makes me feel so bad. Legs aren't supposed to bend that way, man. Christ. Oh, that part gets me every time. Oh, it gets me every single time. Enzymes, or he's undergone special gene therapy. What's he saying? Same as six hours ago. I had no idea the nuclear inspection nine years ago was a ruse. Cypher forced me to do that research after the attack. Do you think he had a hand in it? I do. There's no proof yet. Take a listen to this later. We need proof before we can pass judgment. Keep an eye on him. And don't tell anyone he's here. We'll have him continue his research in there. It's for his own good. The older guys will want his head. We can't guarantee his safety if we let him out. Boss! You mentioned something interesting. The reason why they pulled their plug on the operation in Afghanistan. They said their funding started going to Central Africa instead. Cypher is pursuing new research in Africa. Africa? What research? Emmerich doesn't know the details, but one thing he said does make sense. The Sahelanthropus alone isn't enough to cause an RFA. He claims that what they're doing in Africa is the missing piece. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Meaning it's not just another nook. It's still so disappointing. Like, I, I say that a lot. Why hire such a good actor to have very few, few lines? Like, he... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, people. 
That's just me being who I am. <laughs> like, he, sh he should have had more. <laughs> like, he should have had way more than what he got. But also, too, this game honestly was a shit shoot anyways, even though it was good for, like, original fans like me. And something good for people that just want to play a decent game. But there's so much more potential with this game. After everything that happened, there's so much more potential. Just like how a lot of Konami things have been going, because they just been being who they are. <laughs> and who they are is just not good. Like, for, from the time of this recording, too, like it, I think it's been like a calendar year since Metal Gear has came out, and... Um, Konami, like, hasn't changed or whatever, and it's like, they're still gonna be making Metal Gear games, and they're gonna be shit. And, you know, like, this is probably the last good Metal Gear, Gear game that's gonna be coming out, unless we see a Metal Gear by Platinum. But, the bad thing about that is, too, it's who's gonna write the story. It would probably be an executive over at, uh, Konami, because Kojima's done, and he's doing, um... Death Stranding, that looks like a fucking amazing game. If you haven't seen it, check it up. Like, type in Death Stranding, and it looks amazing. So, I'm gonna see if there's another cutscene, and there's not. So, alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my friend today, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, stay awesome, guys.